Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick haul video. I have four different places I think I hauled from. Joanne, Scrap Diva Designs, um, Beadcraft Babe, and then one item from Walmart. I'm going to show that first. So I saw this fabric on walmart.com and I thought, oh, this would be so cute with that skull I'm working on. And it's really cool looking. It's a place called broadwayfabric.com or broadwayfabrics.com. And they only sell by the quarter yard. So this is like, this is two quarters. So I guess it's half of a yard, but it's, it's very small. It was very pretty. I think I only paid around $6 for this and then like two fifty for shipping. They sold out on walmart.com, but I Googled broadwayfabrics.com and they have this and they sell it in like quarters or fat quarters, something, if you're interested in this. And they have a lot of other really cool fabric, but I just wanted to show this because I think I'm going to use this when I finish up my little wooden skeleton that I painted pink. So that's one place. So I'll do Joanne. So Poochie was shopping in Joanne's and she walked, she actually walked by this ghost silicone mold. And I was so hoping to get one made, but I, I didn't. Everything was 40% off online. All the beads were that, when they were doing that, that door buster, four for $10. So it was like a Saturday and Sunday. And I just like jumped online, grabbed stuff. Prices are different in the store than they are online. It, it's crazy when they do that. But anyways, I grabbed this. I am going to make some resin ghosts with this because you could screw a little, let me see if you can see it better like this. You could screw a little eye on the top and make an ornament out of it or just have it sitting like on a desk or a tear tray or something. So I grabbed this, thought that was adorable. I think I grabbed another one, but maybe not. I grabbed the cat's cauldron and the witch. Aren't they cute? I may have grabbed another one, but I don't know. I can't remember. I'm trying to behave myself. She walked by these and I literally sat up when I saw these. Look at these. Are these not cute? I don't know that I would wear them. Let's see if I can put them on something. See it better. I don't know that I'd wear them, but I could definitely use them as an accessory on something. So I grabbed those and like I said, they were 40% off. They were $9.99, but I mean really for a pair of earrings, I wouldn't think twice about spending $9.99. So, grab those. And I really liked these, these charms. But I'm a big kitty cat person. I do not think they show well on this black. But look at that little cauldron and the cat has little rhinestone eyes and they're all glittered. And look, it's a little gold witch. You've got your little white he is like a little white skeleton in a coffin and then your cute little black and white and orange owl so $7.99 but 40% off I grabbed another one and I took them off because I was I was going to going to do something that I ran out of time so there's that set that I just showed you the other set which I bought a couple of these I only bought one of this one and I wish I'd bought more has a spider web it's very delicate it has a skull head, which he's cute. He's happy. This adorable candy cord. And look at this guy. Like you could easily, if you wanted skull earrings, look at, look at how intricate he is. He's really nice. And so you would need two sets. And then these two little ghosties. So I, I, I think I'm good on charms. So I grabbed those. Now this. This is funny to me because I didn't really look at the measurements and I expected like a cat. So when this came, they had it folded in the invoice and I almost threw it away. She's tiny. Okay, things always look bigger on on your um, TV screen or computer screen. So four inches in height from tail to toe. Let's see, four and a half. 
and then I'm just going to go this way from her cheek to two and three quarters. She's little, but she's darling. I absolutely love her. I absolutely love this cat. And I think this wound up being around 99 cents. So it's a better quality than the dollar store ones. It's just a more finished wood, but it's about the same weight and size as say your Dollar Tree ones. But cute, 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 love her. If I go in the store, I'll probably get another couple of them because I really think she's fantastic. I grabbed the little matching napkins, $4.99, and, like and everything was 40% off. And do you guys recognize this print? This print has been in our scrapbook papers. Like I have this print in, I think it was like Halloween Market um, by Cartabella or Echo Park, maybe like three years ago. And it was more of a vintage -y paper pack, but that's a, that's the same print. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. And then I got this because it's so cute. And I may use these. I don't know. I thought if she was bigger, this would be cute on top of her, but she's little. So I don't know if I can, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. We'll just see. But, and with all these things that I've bought, who knows what I'll get around to doing. Uh, oh, well, this is one thing I grabbed from the Dollar Tree. I ran in the Dollar Tree and grabbed a couple of things and I grabbed this. And I think the other items I picked were just like replacement filler items. So I did notice that when I was in there, my Dollar Tree had when you're making those mesh wreaths and you have that tubing that goes in it, they had all the tubing from the year in like that was leftover tubing in a box for 50 cents a package. And I grabbed two for like Easter time. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I know every Dollar Tree is different. These are from Joanne. And these are, I just typed in Halloween buttons they have so many buttons to choose from. But they had this big package of spiders, and they're all different sizes. You get little ones, you get the big ones, you get green, orange, and black, and purple. They're so cute. So I grabbed those. Very excited. Oh, he's messed up. Very excited about those. I don't know what I'm going to put them on, but they will, they don't really look like buttons, they look like cabochons. So, very cute. Grab those, throw him in the trash. And then I bought these trims. So, these are so cute. I mean, they're small. They're all different sizes. Let me flip him the right way. They're going to be all over the place. So, grab those. I should not have poured so many out. Put these over here out of the way and I grabbed these trims but let me show you this so I grabbed this cup I don't know this cup on sale was seven dollars and change it was kind of expensive look in the inside so I, my first cup of coffee I finished it up and was like oh my god what is that <laughs> and there's an, it's not finished it's not got the glaze on it so I sent them an email because it was like a, a it was on a weekend or an evening and they weren't open. So I sent them an email and they did refund my money, but they couldn't replace it. But wouldn't this be cute? So it's got to be a craft item now. Wouldn't this be cute with a sisal tree inside of it? Like definitely going to make that happen. I think and put that on my tear tray, like a, um, like a Halloween tree. I'll go with these. So the trim was just too exciting i had to get almost all the ones that i saw that were online and yeah they charge kind of a bit but look at these are is this not this fabulous and it's on it's just like pom-pom trim it's hanging the same way it's kind of tight on there it doesn't have the loop so it's just sewn right to that whatever that band is and it's this is like iridescent and then you've got your tinsel orange and black I had to get that that's just fantastic and then look at these look at these get this unattached can you even look at those little 
Look at those little skeletons. I want to make sure you can see them. Are they not the cutest things ever? I just thought, I miss out on a lot of this stuff because I wait. And I'm... I'm trying to only purchase things that I don't have this year and not like stock up. So this one, this one was really pretty. This one was spider web and tulle. Like really? Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And you don't get a bunch of this. One yard of this, one yard, this is one and a quarter yard and that's one yard. This one is wider, three inches. This is two and a quarter, and that's one and a quarter. But those there, and then this one. This this one was the one that started the trim madness. Um, ten ninety nine. Are they all ten ninety nine? Yeah, they're all ten ninety nine. But I don't think I paid. I don't know. I don't think I paid more than like six fifty a piece for these. And I don't think I need any more. Like, I think I'm good. So this is like a little, almost like a tutu looking with the iridescent orange. And this has an orange tinsel. And you can see it pretty well online when you look at it. And then this one has a black tinsel, like, sewn in it. That's so cool. So I, I don't think they're named. But, yeah. So these are the ones. I just thought they went really really well together. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh, so grab those. And then the beads. So the beads in the store, people were saying there were doorbuster beads. So yeah, I got doorbuster beads. So what happened was I picked up four for $10 and then they canceled one. So then they refunded me like, I don't know, 250 or something like that. So I got plenty of candy corn. And then I ordered four of these, which I think Poochie bought one in her video and it was like, I don't know, 30% off $14.99. So they only sent me three, but I got three for $10. So I kind of feel like I scored on that. You have a little black hat. So you have a a purple bead and you have the gold and then the orange you have the black hat the white ghost and these are like lamp works beads the jack-o-lantern a cauldron like yeah I'll take that uh, another hat and another ghost so they should do an entire string of cauldrons pumpkins hats and ghosts they they would sell equally as well but anyway so I guess it's nice if you just need one or two, you don't have to buy a whole string. But that, to me, felt like the deal of the century to get these for $10. And then I got these as well, four for $10. So go before you go in the store and do your doorbuster stuff, or while you're in the store, if you see something, grab your phone and pull it up online and see how is it ringing up. Now, the trick is online, you can't buy like one of each to make four. You got to buy four to get it for $10. I, I really, they're, um, but they'll price match it at the store. They're, um, the way their system works online versus on the store is confusing to me, but we make do, right? So we have these and they have the silver beads, which I love little spacer beads, and then the black. And they're adorable. They're so cute. So I grabbed four of those for 10 bucks. So I really made out well. And then they had the Tim Holt stuff on sale. I don't know, 30 or 40% off. And I had already ordered this from Stampers Anonymous. Because they, a lot of times when, when this stuff comes out new, it's not on sale and it's full price and I can't find it. So I just get it from StampersAnonymous.com. So I paid full price for it two weeks ago. It just shipped yesterday. So I'm not really sure what's going on with them. But I can, I was thinking I am going to do a garland for my tree. I mean, for my mantle. And I'm either going to use the Scrap Diva uh, pennant die or I'm going to use this pennant die. I'm not sure. I've got to look at them and then kind of put them up next to my mantle and see how they look. And I want a string with this 
So since this was on sale, I had already purchased some from Stampers Anonymous. So I thought, well, you know what? I'll just get another one just in case I don't have enough. So I think it gives you six, four yards. So I, just in case I didn't have enough, I bought another one. And then this, this is so cool. Look at this. Okay, this is all, it's already cut and shredded for you. I don't want to get it too... I was watching Tim Holtz show this stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So this is already cut in really small, like quarter inch slits, so you can like fluff it out real easy. So I definitely wanted that. Like, I don't think you could buy too much of this, and I bet this will sell out. This will be hard to make too, especially with those tiny slits. Um, and then I grabbed this, this iron-on applique, because Oh my gosh, it was so cute. And it was like 30 or 40% off. It wound up being around $3. But I have all that fabric and I had a lot of ghosts. And I thought, ooh, I could make a bag or a pillow or a makeup bag and put this ghost on it. Wouldn't that be darling? I would use that year round. But that's just me. Okay, so I think... Oh, I got one more thing. So I mentioned when I bought that fabric, there was another fabric that I wanted to get and I grabbed this one. How cool is that fabric? So I grabbed this because I liked all the candy and the candy corns and that bat is so cool. Make sure I'm still in frame. So I grabbed that and again if you just if you go on Joanne and just look up Halloween fabric all that fabric is going to pull up for you. And so I'll do Bead Craft Babe. So she is closing her shop and she, I went on her site and I have always wanted to see what these beads look like in person. This is so beautiful. My daughter was like, that is, these are so elegant. So I absolutely love these. So her website is like Bead Craft Babes, Bead Craft Babes with an S. Dot com. I just picked up, everything's 30% off. So I picked up, she sells these one each. And then I picked up some of these bales because, you know, just to have some extra and not have to wait for them to come from Allie. I grabbed those. She had these, I mean, these were on sale for like a dollar. And then they, they were another 30% off. But look at that purple and that green. Those are great for Halloween. I didn't even realize there was like a golden orange in there. So I thought, oh, that's great. I'll grab these in there. I think they're glass. They're heavy. They're nice. So I know that she is busy and just kind of trying to get rid of her stock. I, I think she's closing. So if, if you like those, definitely go because she's got some great deals and she's got a lot of stuff. I think she even had a paper pad on there that I was like, wow, she has paper like on here. So I grabbed these. These, these were the main reason that I purchased because I wanted, I think I, I ordered three of these. So I got 30 of these because I, I saw them and I said, I know exactly what I want to do with these and did it real quick. So I, I have to glue them down, but I wanted to see what they look like. So I wanted to make a pink jack-o'-lantern uh, paper piercing tool. And just for you people who don't like silver, check it out. I made one on gold too. How cute is that? How cute are these? They're so stinking adorable. So again, that's Bead Craft Babe. She's on Instagram and then she has, if so if, if you can't find her online, go on Instagram. And if you still can't find her, just leave it in the comments and I'll give you a link to her store. And so we've done this, we've done this. Okay, I think the last thing I have is Scrap Diva Designs. And remember, where is my thing? I'm doing my 1000 subscriber giveaway and I, I have a video with this 1000 subscriber giveaway and a picture of Scrap Diva next to it comment, enter me, be a subscriber, comment, comment, enter me. And the drawing is going to be September 4th. I will probably do it live if I can figure out how to do that YouTube picker thing. I'm giving away two $25 ScrapDivaDesigns.com gift card, gift codes, um, 
to two different people. So one a piece. So make sure you comment, find that video and comment. And I can link that video. I, I, I'll link that video in the description, but I just wanted to remind people when I'm showing this stuff, what I had picked up. So I am trying to figure out how to kind of store. I want my Scrap Diva uh, dies separate because I really, really like her dies and I don't want to get them mixed up in all my other dies. So I'm, and, and I like how she has this. I just think it's cute, her pictures on there. So I just, I like it. I like it like this and I want to have her all separate. So I've got her in like a binder. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I grabbed these. These are the scalloped edge tags because I just am a tag nut. I grabbed this, this um, Easter Bunny bubblegum machine because she had an add-on for Halloween, but she didn't have it in stock yet. But then two days later, she got everything in stock. This I had tried to order before, but um, she ran out and I didn't get it. So this is the, it's like fa la 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 la, Cupid, Magic, Noel, Wish, Jolly, Christmas, all that kind of stuff, or Santa and Mary. So I grabbed these flags and then this came in stock. So I went ahead and ordered that because it's like, it's like Poochie said, if you, you want it, you better get it because I missed out and I learned my lesson. So I grabbed the add-on to this. So the Halloween add-on, I cannot wait to make that. And I know I have cauldrons and a shaker cauldron, but this one's so cute. <laughs> it's just not, like the handles on it in particular are so cute. And I like how she has her bubbles like this. And the other cauldron I have, it had like smoke. And then she has bubbles like this. So I just, kind of, I don't know. I really wanted to have this cauldron too. And you know what? That might make a cute mini memory decks. Let's see in comparison. I think, oh yeah, I think we can make that work. Okay. Let me make sure I'm still in screen here. I don't know. Let's see. I don't know. Was I in screen? Let me show them real quick. There's the cauldron, there is the bubblegum machine, and then the Halloween add-on. I mean, the hats and the spider webs and the bones and the bats and the shoes, so cute, and the spider. And then here's the flag set that's, that is a Christmas and Valentine one. So I'll move that out of the way. So, had to have the candy corn. Had to, absolutely had to have the candy corn. So I grabbed that. And if you like this and want to see what this looks like, Poochie Tats has a great video. And she also, you can just, you can just jump over to her Instagram and see that. If you want to see an example. And she did pink ones, which who doesn't want pink candy corn? I don't know. I had to get the witch bow. And it's like, is it two or three? Here's us. I think it's two. So you have these legs and these legs. I think it's two. I think I'm looking at it right. But um, you can do all sorts of things. Poochie did the coolest thing with the skirt to make a bow. And I was like, well, now I got to have it. And um, <laughs> these are the borders. These are border and pocket dies. I wanted these pocket dies because Tim Holtz has a, it's a pocket die, but it's like four pockets in one. And I thought, it's so much, it would be so much cooler when you're doing your dailies and your journals and your things like that and your gift cards to just have a single pocket in whatever you're creating. So I got that and then, yay, I got this. So I got this memory decks. How cool is that hat? But this is, this is a heavy duty die. When I was looking at it, I thought, Oh, that seems kind of expensive, but I really want to have that round die, that round memory deck. So I just said, you know what? I'm just getting it. And um, now that I look at it, it is it is a reasonable price for what you get. So don't think it's going to be small. It, this is a this is a big die. This is four inches, and that is four and three quarter inches. That tall and I'm sure that's four inches. Yeah, four and a quarter. So it's it's a lot of metal. And I love this hat. Think of all the things we can do with this hat. 
Anyway, so I had to have this and I think I am going to because you guys have been giving me good feedback that, yeah, you'd like me to do a um, Mimi of the month. So I think starting next month, so starting September, I'll do September, October, November, December, I'll do a Mimi a month for the rest of the year and, you know, see how that goes. And then maybe do like a Mimi a month for 2023. We'll just see how that goes. All right. So then I grabbed, I grabbed these because ah, Poochie had to make the cutest paper with these. So I had to get these too. And then I think she used this sponge sugar. I grabbed this from Joanne too. I just saw that sitting there. So I had grabbed this. I think she used oxide. I just wanted to try the Distress Ink because I have tons of oxide and I don't have that much Distress Ink. So I kind of wanted to kind of mix up my stash a little bit. So I grabbed that from Joanne. But grab this because this is one of my favorite sayings, eek. And then I think the Bite Me's funny because, and I even think I have it sitting here. We all have those little vampire fangs. I have these sitting out ready to do something with them and haven't used them yet. And how perfect is that? Bite me with those. See now, so many ideas and just simply not enough time. So now this is what I've done. I've put some of her dyes in these little, they're kind of flimsy little page protectors. And this one is the Halloween ghoul treat. And see, it comes with Eck, but she she has the, the uh, mistake fixed with Eek. Boo, spooky, scary, trick. I love how big the boo and the eek are. Love it, love it, love it. So, and then when you think about gluing those to like these, I just think, I just think that's going to be so cool. And Dollar Tree has got really, really cute ones. I just, I, I don't know. I, I am not having luck at my Dollar Tree this year. So this is what I did. I grabbed this from Target and it's that Yubi brand. And so it's still back to school. So I grab, isn't it cool? I love it. And I have, I'm putting all her dyes in it. Like I have these flags. Uh, oh, this is the backpack. So the backpack came in and of course I ripped that thing apart and went at it. So I made a little backpack. How stinking cute is this? And this is with the die cuts with a view from last year. Make sure that's the name of it. Yes, die cuts with a view from last year. Here, let me grab it. This poor pad has fallen apart. I have just ripped it apart. So this, this Halloween party from last year, I'm not sure which store Michaels I'm guessing. I did not realize I had this much stuff. I need to stop shopping and get crafting and made this and I used, you know, I tried to use cute little pink Velcro dots from AliExpress and they would not hold. And this is that Sizzix Biggs dye and some of that leather, that glitter leather, but the Velcro dots are holding. Look how cute, you get so much in this thing. But love this, love this. And I realized I didn't put the little this little thing here. So I feel like you can fashion one out of these to get a little, a little loop, but it's adorable. I absolutely love it. So I made that. That is this. And it's just a ton. That's my box. And I think, I think that's it for my guys. I think that's quite enough, right? This is my birthday banner. I may do the banner, do that's the box. See, it's so much metal when you get this stuff. You're just kind of shocked. So don't really know how to store these yet, but I'm, I will figure it out. But I don't really care about messing up these little cheapy page protectors. And I eventually will get this stuff. Look at all that metal. Um, I thought I had the, the flag shape. Maybe not. I have... The, the, oh, I have the pennant, not the pennant, the fishtail. I have the fishtail on this one. Oh, and then I have the, the triangle or the pennant on this one. So I might, I, 
could try. I think, I think I'm going to do for my banner. I think I'm going to use this one, but I think she sells one like this. I think so. If you're in the market for a pennant, check, check her out. Because this is that birthday pennant that where it made the box. Okay, so it's kind of a mess in here right now, but I'm trying <laughs> to keep it organized. I don't know what goes with that one, but I'll figure it out. Okay, so that is, oh, that's the backpack. That's what came with the backpack. So, okay, so that is my messy haul. Um, I cannot wait to start working on this stuff. And don't forget about my giveaway. I will link that video in the description. And what did I say? The giveaway to get a $25 gift card for two people is September 4th. And like I said, I'll probably do it somewhere around 10 or 11 a.m., and um, let you guys know who's the winners. So the goal of this is for everything to stay, move this, stay in this binder like this. These pieces can kind of stick like this and I'll keep them in sleeves, but I haven't disassembled these yet. I think her cards are so cute. And this is not so messy now. This is the goal. And, I, and then I can kind of pull for this binder and I can put these, these, these sleeves in there once everything's off and then everything's going to stay a little, a little more organized. Yeah. So like, get that out of the way like that. Isn't that nice? And then I still have her cute design there. And isn't that nice? I think that will work out good. And then I will have my binders right here in a cubby, kind of like almost like a library of dies. And if you guys are thinking about getting the bubblegum machine, I, I would because, like, I have a sneaking suspicion if she's done Easter and she's done Halloween, she might hit all the holidays. I mean, I would think she would. She might not get them immediately, but I think I think she will. So, look, doesn't that look nice? So that's a little bit more organized than the insanity I just showed you. But, like, the big ones, I might have to get, like, envelopes or something to stick them in to keep them together but for right now I don't have that many I mean I have <laughs> quite a few I didn't realize I had this many but I have quite a few and I'm so happy I feel so spoiled but this this last purchase was kind of like a birthday present for myself my birthday was in August so um that was this is pretty full but look you can get this is a one inch binder and you can get all those dies in there and then you still got a little room and you've got your pockets. So, I mean, it's an idea to store things. I wouldn't want to store my Sizzix dies, but like hers, hers are taller. So I liked that. Okay, guys, I am off to go make dinner and <laughs> get back to, to doing all my things. But thanks for watching and don't forget to enter the sweepstakes and I will put a link in the description. And I will talk to you soon, hopefully with some new creations I've made. Thanks for watching. Bye.